How were the walls of Roman buildings constructed? Cyclopean The oldest Roman walls were made up of rough stones of large and distinct dimensions, supported by one another, without using any type of mortar to join them. They are often called Cyclopean, as it is said that they were so heavy that only Cyclops, giants of Greek mythology, would be able to lift them. Opus Quadratum With the development of stone cutting techniques, it became possible to build walls with blocks of similar and uniform sizes, arranged in rows. These walls were called Opus Quadratum. This technique was used around the 6th century BC and, over time, the precision and accuracy of block cutting improved. Even after mastering other wall-building technologies, the Romans continued to use this technique, primarily because of its aesthetic appeal. The Romans used limestone blocks or volcanic tuff that were abundant in Rome and its surroundings. Opus Cementitium Over time, the Romans discovered that by mixing stones, limestone, water and pozzolana, volcanic ash from the region around Naples, an extremely resistant material formed when dry. It is the ancestor of our concrete, known as cement or Roman concrete. The so-called opus cementitium were between 60 and 90 centimeters wide and were built from wooden shapes filled with this mixture, creating a somewhat irregular appearance. Opus insertum Due to the rusticity of the surfaces, other ways to coat the walls emerged, maintaining the interior as Roman concrete. The oldest form of this technique was the so-called opus insertum, introduced around the end of the 3rd century BC, which used small pyramidal blocks that were placed outside the wall and which resulted in a surface that had no regular pattern. Hence its name. Initially, it consisted of a more careful placement of the cumenta, fragments of rock and small stones mixed with concrete, making the external surface as flat as possible. Later, the outer surface became even more flat, reducing the amount of concrete and choosing small, more regular stones. Opus Reticulatum Opus Reticulatum, or reticulate pattern, is its successor, consisting of a network of small square blocks cut in the form of truncated pyramids with a square base. Often of very precise size, these were seated in diagonal lines bordered on thin layers of mortar, placed at a 45-degree angle. The use of this type of finish started at the end of the 2nd century BC and remained very common until the advent of Opus Lateritium, a different form of masonry, which became more common. Opus Lateritium the Romans developed brick-making techniques that became the main building material in the 1st century AD for the walls of houses, Roman baths, and monuments. Opus Lateritium, Latin for brickwork, is a form of construction in which bricks of thick structure are used to face a core of Opus Cementitium. The bricks have rectangular, triangular, and even round shapes, with each part of the empire building the pieces with different dimensions. Opus Mixtum On the other hand, Opus Mixtum consists of hybrid walls, usually with Opus Reticulatum at the angles and sides of Opus Lateritium. At the end of the Republic, the custom started to reinforce Opus Reticulatum with horizontal bands of bricks or flat tiles, also functioning as leveling rows and dividing the lattice into panels. Therefore, mixed work is the conventional name for opus cementitium coated with panels or strips of lattice and brick. This style was particularly widespread in the Flavio and Adriano periods. Opus Crititium Over time, Variations of these walls are seen with other material pages or the inclusion of other materials, such as wood in walls like opus criticium, which is a technique related to half-timbering, a timber framework with the wall infill of stones and mortar called opus insertum.
Although this article is intended to give a very general overview of the main wall building techniques in the Roman Empire, studying and identifying these methods provides several clues to the history of ancient Rome and the different stages of Roman economy and society. I hope you learned something today. In behalf of Fine Grain Craft family we thank you for watching our video. Please like, share and subscribe to make this learning platform grow and reach more to help others. Thank you and God bless you all. Ma Rumming Salamat.